Republican tonight a hotly contested bill that would prevent human sexuality education for young kids has our governor's signature. It will also require schools to notify parents about a student's name or pronoun change. All of this comes as a victory for the GOP supermajority advocating for more parental rights in schools. Now Rachel Krause is speaking with LGBTQ advocates who say, excuse me, this new law is hurting the students most in need of support. With the stroke of a pen from Governor Holcomb, HB 1608 has gone from bill to law in Indiana. Chris Paulson, CEO of Indiana Youth Group, says she wasn't surprised, but... Sad for our youth um, and for our state. I know this will um, force some families to leave the state um, and force kids back in the closet. The new law offers strict rules for Indiana schools and classrooms, requiring human sexuality not be taught to students in pre-K through third grade, and a new provision requiring schools notify parents if students ask to use a different name or pronoun, effectively outing LGBTQ students. And targeting LGBTQ youth um, who already have an increased rate of suicide due to societal non-acceptance. Um, this will increase their mental health issues. Um, once again, they're being othered and told that they don't belong here. Studies show one in four teens are forced to leave their homes after coming out, and 20% of homeless youth are LGBTQ. Paulson says with schools no longer safe spaces for all students, she hopes they feel comfortable turning to outside services for support. We've seen a 319% increase in our attendance in the past first four months of the year. Um, yeah, so um, we are glad that they're reaching out, but also we know that there's, you know, capacity issues with um, people who do support LGBTQ youth. So um, we'll fight through those. Today's bill signing is a victory for a supermajority GOP that proposed a record number of anti-LGBTQ bills this session. After signing HB 1608 earlier today, Governor Holcomb said in a statement, this new law puts Hoosier parents first when it comes to sensitive issues with their kids. But Paulson and other LGBTQ advocates are worried that this new law is only the beginning. We um, expect another onslaught of, you know, the slate of hate. Um, and I think it will continue until somebody just says this is enough and this isn't who Indiana is. And Rachel, House Bill 1608 is now law, but when is it actually going to take effect? Starting July 1st. And Felicia, it's worth noting that this new law may be challenged in the courts. Soon after Governor Holcomb signed this bill, the ACLU of Indiana sent us a statement saying their attorneys are assessing the new law and will do everything in their power to protect the rights of LGBTQ students.